Hello everyone. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to see how to use Trimble GPS for marine applications. Uh, the topics uh, we are going to cover today are what are NEMA messages which are uh, which are used in uh, bathymetry survey how to extract those NEMA messages from the Trimble GPS and how to configure Trimble GPS to, extract, uh, to transmit those messages to the echo sounders and also how to use the Trimble controllers with the transducers uh, to collect bathymetry data so this is the brief agenda for this tutorial so starting with what are NEMA messages uh, the NEMA stands for National Marine Electronic Association which has developed standard messaging formats to exchange information between the computer and the marine equipments so these are have different format messages uh, many of the messages are listed below uh, the GGL message uh, gives you the, the GGL message gives you the latitude and longitude and the ZDA for example gives you the date and time and uh, MSS gives you the beacon receiver you can find a lot of information uh, about this uh, in the link on the description which we have given on this video below so you can find a lot of links in there to know more on the NEMA messages uh, generally when we do a bathymetry survey we just try to use the lat length data and the time data for the GPS and the echo sounder to sync and get the data location with the depth so uh, in the later part of the video we will see how to configure these messages together so what are the setups basically there are two setups in which you can use the use triple access and uh, triple uh, GPS so the first setup is the first setup you have is a transducer like this which should have a COM port connected to a Trimble tablet or a Trimble uh, TSC3 controller. The Trimble Access itself can support uh, bathymetric data from coming from an echo sounder with uh, in RTK mode. So Trimble Access also has an extra application that is Pathy Survey, which is optional. Uh, uh, which is a paid option you can also use Bathy survey which is much more advanced than the triple access uh, echo sounder options with the bat with Bathy survey you can find uh, uh, you can uh, use it for finding the depth charts you can use it to find the depth rates you can use it as just like an echo sounder screen uh, but it is optional you can buy it and use it or you can use it without the battery survey so only triple uh, the, the transducer and triple access along with the GPS can be used in tandem to collect simple bathymetric data the second option is get the NMEA messages into the echo sounder and then uh, from the echo sounder you can connect to a PC which can which will be running a software maybe in case of HyPack or Hydro Pro any of the bathymetric surveying softwares so the triple GPS can form, form give you the enemy out to the transducer uh, to the echo sounder and also with along with the transducer messages you can configure it to get it collected in a software which is running on a PC these are the two options with uh, Trimble uh, devices along with the echo sounder. So the first option what we what we have discussed is similar to this an echo sounder uh, sorry a transducer a GPS and a data collector. Trimble in general supports lot of echo sounders 
uh, you can download the echo sounder protocol description files from Trimble uh, support pages the link of for this page is given below in the description you can use you can download from the description generally you can use so many kind of uh, options in this so we will uh, also check on how to configure this options uh, into the Trimble access control the first option is this we will uh, have a small look at uh, how we configure this one as we mentioned be before the first option is to configure uh, the Trimble uh, GPS the transducer and the triple access to work in tandem in RTK mode to collect data uh, along the location data along with the depth so before we go into the data collection just go into the settings uh, in settings uh, you have to go into service style and in service style you just go to uh, RTK or Q course you can you can you can use it both ways just I'm going to edit the RTK settings go to RTK uh, on the bottom you have the NMEA out uh, NMEA outputs and echo sounder in case if you connect the transducer of the echo sounder to the Trimble access uh, or the Trimble controller go into this option you can select lot of devices based on the devices which you are device uh, the echo sounder protocol which you have copied and uh, in, copied into the triple access but normally we can select the option of uh, NMEA SDDBT that is uh, this represent the, the, the depth below the uh, transducer so this option gives you the depth or whatever the depth you have uh, whatever the depth the echo sounder is measuring it com it computes that depth and gives you the depth value along with the position when you are doing the survey and make sure that your COM port is one the COM port is always one uh, you have a, a 9 pin port uh, below the TSC 3 controllers or in case of tablet you have a 9 pin port and uh, you have you have to connect the serial cable from the transducer to the 9 pin port uh, in the T in the Trimble controllers so the baud rate dr uh, baud rate and the bit uh, rates are like fine and latency you can leave it as 0 or you can give it as 1 second and draft yes you need to measure from the height of the transducers from the draft and then just you have to enter it enter accept and uh, you just once you do finish accept just store the data once it is stored uh, just go into general survey uh, just go to measure RTK in, in, in RTK you need to go for continuous topo not measure points just go to continue stopo it will start the rtk survey the same option can be used in the q course also now i have not connected my echo sounder so that says the connection is not successful uh, once it is connected you can find the depth values coming here and you can uh, enter your start point and maybe the code as uh, something like uh, some code Okay, so the flow line. So you can enter the code and you can set it on time. That's like uh, one second, or say like three seconds. And you can also set the on distance, fixed distance. That is like every two meters. So generally, I go with time and say like it's three seconds. And once you start it will connect to the echo sounder and then it will start giving you the depth here and it will start keep logging the data once you have uh, finished collecting the bathymetry data 
you need to export this data into a format a file format like a csv or a text file so that it can be used in any third party software uh, for this purpose uh, you need to download a style sheet which is present in the trimble installation trimble support portal the link for this is given to you in the description below the video so in 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 uh, in the in the page go to style sheets uh, in style sheets uh, you need to go into uh, general survey style sheets under general survey style sheets uh, you need to uh, download the style sheet come out delimited with elevation and depth uh, you, you just have to download this style sheet and copy it to the system folder in the Trimble TSC3 controller uh, which will be accessible while you are exporting the data. Now I have finished recording my bathymetry survey and this is my bathymetry runs what I have done. So now I need to export this whole lot into uh, points with depths so I go into uh, jobs uh, before going into jobs uh, I go into Trimble access and uh, into system files uh, the down the file which I have downloaded the style sheet I have copied on to the uh, system folder here so once it is done I go into general survey again go into jobs uh, import export uh, export custom format and then I just go here and I use uh, comma delimited with depth and then I choose a folder uh, where I have to store I store it in uh, Yeah, here then I say like accept it accepts or it exports all the files from the folder uh, once you have uh, once you are into the Trimble uh, website here for the support uh, website uh, where you are finding a lot of options of the protocol echo sounder protocol description files you can just click on the files here uh, I, I'm going to add uh, atlas Odo file and I uh, just download those files into my uh, support folder uh, it's like getting downloaded here download the echo sounder protocol files Go into the system files and just copy the files uh, copy the file and then put it into the copy and paste it into the system file so now if I go into the settings again in the service style if I edit for echo sounder you will have the atlas auto so this is the this is the way you need to add different protocol files option is connect the Trimble GPS to the Trimble axis or the Trimble controller start the RTK configure the NMEA messages from the GPS to the echo sounder so we are going to see how that setting works so again go into settings go into service style uh, again I am going to edit my RTK service style in this case I am going for the NMEA outputs all the NMEA standard output formats will be listed here uh, in case of uh, the echo sounder protocols you need to know which of the messages with the echo, the echo sounder will accept so in many cases it will be gga and zda 
these two are the options max many of the echo sounders will read these two formats if at all you need any other different formats you can choose it from here once you choose it you should also re uh, record the configure the ping rates uh, normally it's one second uh, for both and then you can go here set the comport rates here okay and you can also set the quality for maximum age say like accept store now you can you have to take the serial cable from the uh, gps out uh, com ports to the echo sounder and then start using it so with the simple gps you will find the serial cable which is coming along in, with the standard accessories of the triple GPS receivers so this serial cable has to go into the COM1 here so it can go in, it can, you can connect the COM1 here once the NMEA is configured to be uh, coming out of this NMEA uh, this port this serial cable one end can be connected to the GPS and the next end can be connected to the echo, echo sounder so this will help you to bring the NMEA data that is the differential corrected data from the GPS to the echo sounder.